Hello everybody. Uh, today I would like to share some insights into the anatomy of the data. What exactly is the data? What kind of data each enterprise has? Now, when we look at the enterprise, it has variety of data. You know, people say that it is structured, unstructured, but before that, there are a lot of different categories of data each enterprise possesses and it is vast and it is growing and somebody cannot control it because it generates every day so what exactly are the categories of the data so we have different data categories why this is important because to set up an enterprise data strategy first of all we need to understand the anatomy of the data once we understand that then we know that what are the stepping stones and what are those foundational elements that we need to establish before we can jump to the conclusion. We have heard, we have seen many a times that, okay, uh, what is the aspiration of an, a company or any enterprise or any business these days? Okay, we want to go digital. We want to bring in the analytics. We want to bring in the CXO dashboards. We want to bring out uh, really the business performance. But how do you do that? Because if you do not have the data, rightly placed, rightly governed, rightly put down into the right structures, then it would become difficult. So let's understand the data. So data we have uh, at core, you need to have, uh, you know, metadata. Metadata is data that is talking about data or data that is defining the data. And this is actually important. And without having metadata, we won't be able to understand it. It is exactly like the labels of the table or labels uh, uh, in, in a structure. And without the labels, we won't be able to understand it. So metadata is important. So first foundation uh, stone is that uh, metadata need to be established. And that metadata could be for products, materials, services, assets. Uh, it could be any taxonomy. It could be the renowned taxonomies that are ISO 8000 compliant. By the way, ISO 8000 is the standard for master data quality. And that's a vast standard which is rapidly getting developed. There are a lot of parts of ISO 8000 that have been published. So this metadata need to comply with the ISO 8000 standard, which means that all the principles of ISO 8000 need to be adapted into the metadata structures. So once we have the metadata, then on top of that, you know, metadata also could be ontologies, it could be dictionaries, it could be technical glossaries, uh, it could be technical repositories, but whatever it is, there should be a definition uh, that can define the master data. Then comes the master data. And without, you know, having a foundation of metadata, we cannot evaluate, assess, qualify, verify, uh, or assess uh, the master data quality. So master data is actually standing on metadata. And that master data need also to be governed. So metadata need to be governed. So metadata management is important and master data management is also important. Again, all the principles of master data management need to be again complied with ISO 8000 and ISO 22745, 27001 and there are a lot of other standards as well that it is touching. And master data, it need to be governed and not, you know, small quantities or small data sets of it. Every master data need to be governed. What do we mean by governance of that? It is, uh, you know, looking at the quality of it. It is looking at who is creating it, why it is getting created whether you know all the prerequisites have been met to create that record master data record and when can it change what are those triggers for you know archiving or unarchiving of it and what is the data quality level as per iso 8000 principles that someone can establish so that whole governance is required for master data and then on top of that you know based upon the master data transactions are getting performed so once the master data is, is set, once master data is established and governed, then the transactional data actually plays a key role because then each transaction will hold some valuable information about the operations of the business. So that is why, you know, I was saying that having analytics without establishing metadata, master data and getting the right transaction data generated, we can never have business performance evaluated. 
so all these dashboards all these analytics will not bring in the right value if you do not have the right foundation so once metadata is established and it is tied up with the master data and it is governed properly, then the transactions will have meaningful information. And that meaningful information can be converted into analytics data. And when we talk about analytics data, you know, there could be cubes that brings in multi-dimensional information, business performance that you can have a look at it. But the foundation it has to be metadata master data and then based upon that the transaction data then somebody can build the data warehouse or business performance warehouse or intelligent enterprise analytics all these nice things that everybody is talking about so for any enterprise the digitalization strategy need to start from the foundation which is meta and master data uh, so i hope you know you you got the message and if you need some information on that please reach out to us we are there to help uh, enterprises uh, realize their dreams in terms of the digitalization strategies and enterprise data strategies. Thank you.